The House advice has been that to date we've managed to largely control the outbreak, but as you can see, with this outbreak and with Delta, the return to zero is incredibly difficult, and our restrictions alone are not enough to achieve it quickly. In fact, for this outbreak, it's clear that long periods of heavy restrictions has not got us to zero cases. But that is okay. Elimination was important because we didn't have vaccines. Now we do. So we can begin to change the way we do things. We have more options, and there's good cause for us to feel optimistic about the future. But we cannot rush. That's why we need to continue to contain and control the virus as much as possible while we make our transition from a place where we only use heavy restrictions to a place where we use vaccines and everyday public health measures. We need to keep using the tools we have. We need to vaccinate. We need to test. We need to find cases. We need to isolate them and actively control any outbreak now and in the future. From Monday the 11th of October, a traveller from India to the UK, double jabbed with COVID shield or another vaccine recognised by the UK regulator, does not have to quarantine. So it'll be easier and cheaper to enter the UK. This is great news. We have been actually open for uh, Indian travellers for months. Uh, we've been issuing thousands of visas to students, to business travellers, to tourists. And it's the product of uh, excellent uh, uh, discussions with the Indian authorities. Some of the noise about this issue over the last few weeks just shows how keen people are to travel to the UK, and I'm delighted by that. So let's now go further. Let's open up more flights between the two countries. Let's get British tourists able to come into India. They're desperate to do so. Let's facilitate business travellers who are trying to come into India with e-visas. This is a further step down the road uh, set by Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Johnson uh, when they agreed the comprehensive strategic partnership between our two countries in May.